Hello, you're watching What's Hot London, and this is Politically Hot. The results are in from the election that was never supposed to take place. So, let's take a look at how Britain voted in this year's European Parliament election. First up, turnout. It was very low across the country, even lower than usual for an EU election, at only 37%. When you compare that to the higher than average Europe-wide turnout of 51%, it's very clear that much of the electorate saw these as pointless elections for a parliament that we're not meant to be a part of. Now on to the results. Looking at the percentages, the first thing you notice is how well the Brexit party have performed, getting 32% of the vote. This is largely due to the collapse of UKIP and dissatisfaction with the Tories' Brexit strategy. When you take a look at the change in vote share, the first thing you notice is how well the Lib Dems and Greens have done, increasing their vote shares by 13 and 4% respectively. They have pulled in voters from both Labour and the Conservatives, from people who want to stop Brexit in its tracks. Now, because these European elections use a proportional system, these percentages are well reflected in the seats. So the final seat tally is 29 for the Brexit Party, 16 for the Lib Dems, 10 for Labour, 7 for the Greens, and 4 for the Conservatives. One final thing to notice is how poorly Change UK have performed. They had all sorts of issues throughout the campaign and seem to have lost out to the Liberal Democrats who have almost identical policies. In fact, had Change UK not stood and their vote gone to the Liberal Democrats instead, they could have beaten Labour in four different regions. So then, what can we take from these European elections? Well, what this shows is just how divided the country is with Remainers and Leavers moving to the most extreme versions of both positions. However, neither of those positions can claim victory. When you add up all the parties that want a second referendum and all those who want no deal, they both get around 35% of the vote. It's the main parties, the Conservatives and the Labour Party, who have suffered as these parties in the middle trying to find a compromise. Labour came in fifth in Scotland and the Tories didn't win in a single council area. As Margaret Thatcher once said, if you stand in the middle of the road, you get hit by traffic coming both ways. All these results really tell us is that the Leavers really want to leave and the Remainers really want to remain. If there is one thing that's abundantly clear, it's that we're very far away from a Brexit solution. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think of these EU election results? Let us know in the comments below. For more Politically Hot, make sure you subscribe to What's Hot London and hit that bell icon for notifications. Until next time, I'll see you later.